So I was on my way to work and I thought I'd take a new way today and uh, I think I took a wrong turn and somehow I wound up here. What's up everybody? Silas here today and we are not at the junkyard. We are in another country. We are in Costa Rica. We haven't taken a big vacation in I think about six years, but this is our 10 year anniversary so we thought we'd take a nice vacation and we'd come down here to Costa Rica. It's already starting off as quite the adventure because we thought we could just sign up for a travel pass with Verizon and we would have data while we were here. Uh, unfortunately that is not the case. We have no internet, we have no GPS, and we know where we're going, we just don't know exactly how to get there. So <laughs> we're trying to go by street signs, but there really aren't hardly any street signs here like there are in America. Uh, it's, it's very vague, so uh, we're just gonna try to figure it out as we go, and hopefully we can find some place to stop and eat and get some Wi-Fi, and we can look it up then. We have been passing tons of junkyards out here. It's kind of cool. If we had more time, if we didn't have the kids where we could stop in places like that, I think that'd be kind of neat. But uh, maybe someday in the future we'll come back and make some junkyard tours. The kids are zonked out back there in the back seat, and they've been begging to go see volcanoes and the beach and that sort of stuff. They were already they're tired of traveling today. They don't even want to be in the car now as we travel to where we're going. But uh, so they would they would absolutely not enjoy that at all. I don't think. Maybe Bennett Bennett might enjoy the junkyard, but I don't know that the other two would like it. They'd be asking to go see the volcano. We finally found a restaurant and we got an internet to work, but we didn't come alone. We came with a couple of our close friends, Brooke and Nate and their son Layton. There's Nate there, the other ones are in the bathroom right now. But uh, we came with them, we go on a lot of vacations. If you guys watch my videos, some of my really early videos when we went to San Antonio, they were there with us. But we finally found a restaurant, ordered some food, and one of my favorite things about here is the Aguas Frescas. Oh wow. Adelise and Bennett, you guys excited to be in Costa Rica? Yes. yes. You're excited to be in Costa Rica? Yes. Cool. What do you want to do here? Uh, see a volcano erupt. You want to see a, you want to see a volcano erupt? No, I don't want to see that. That might be a little bit scary. No, not for me. But not for me either. What do you want to see, Bennett? Dinosaurs? Uh -huh. I don't think they have dinosaurs in Costa Rica. Now they did in Jurassic Park, but no, I don't think Jurassic Park is real. Oh. oh. What, Eddie? I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah, we had a ton of construction on a little two lane highway and it was just taking forever. I mean, it was bumper to bumper and super slow. And uh, so we got past that, we took a detour, and we were taking these super windy mountain roads that you couldn't hardly see where you were driving. It's super dark here in the mountains. It's only uh, about seven o'clock right now, but it's just pitch black outside. But uh, finally we made it through all those and we managed to get on the interstate. And so we should be at the Airbnb here in about 30 minutes, finally. One really cool thing about driving through here though, is we've been driving through the clouds up here in the mountains. Like here's a bunch of clouds right above us, but earlier we actually drove through the clouds going up the mountain and back down the mountain. There's the city. What always gets me is all the houses that have razor wire and fences around them. And here's where we're staying. Looks like the entrance to a prison. What? This is the entrance to where we're staying for the next few days. And here's where we're going to be staying. Let's go inside and check it out. Excited to be out of the car, Bennett? Yes! 
I bet you are. That's a beautiful view right there. Kind of a weird layout in here. Uh, it looks like there's multiple bedrooms, but only two bathrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs. But uh, let's go in here and check out this bedroom. We thought there was air conditioning, but we can't seem to find it. It's definitely beautiful here. It's got a nice view of the city. We're in a little, I don't know if you'd call it little, <laughs> it's all kind of connected together, but we're in a place called Escazú, which is to the south of San Jose, which is the capital of Costa Rica. Uh, my wife is from Santa Ana, Costa Rica, which is not too far away from here. We actually had to drive through Santa Ana to get to here. If you're wondering why there was razor wire and a gate we had to get through to get into here, it's because that's just the way most people in the cities live here, is they have iron cages basically built around their houses with razor wire. That way people can't break in and rob them. And this place isn't even bad. You go to some countries, it's way worse than this. But there's an absolutely beautiful view of the city. There's a nice pool down here. There's a jacuzzi. Unfortunately, the ju jacuzzi must be out of order, but uh, we're going to try to figure out the AC situation because it is very, very humid. Now, when we came here for our honeymoon 10 years ago, this is our 10-year anniversary, we didn't have air conditioning in half the place we, we stayed because we stayed with our family and most of them don't have air conditioning. Most people here don't have air conditioning unless they have a little bit of money. There was a couple of houses we went by that did have air conditioning and they actually had it on the roof and they had razor wire all around the roof to keep people from stealing the AC. <laughs> it was a crazy world. Yeah, uh, there's no air conditioning. So it's going to be a warm one tonight. But that's all for today. We're tired. We've been driving all day. So I'll show you guys around the house more tomorrow and then we're going to go do something tomorrow. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure that out then. And good morning. Slept pretty good last night. The ceiling fan in the room kept it nice and cool. It kind of wobbled that crazy, made a lot of noise, but uh, it was fine. Bunches of spiders in the house, but that's typical for down here. If you don't like spiders, you don't want to come here. Uh, no lizards. Uh, I guess the windows aren't big enough for the lizards to get in. Last time I was here, we had lizards on the walls. But I got up fairly early this morning. Everybody else is still asleep. I thought I'd come out here and look around a little bit and kind of go exploring. It's definitely different than Kansas, that's for sure. I think, I think, I don't know for sure, but I think the plan for today is, is we're going to go check out a volcano. We've got some more friends coming into town at some point today. I don't know when their flight comes in, and then they've got to drive clear over here as well. So uh, it's probably going to be this evening before they get here, and my mother-in-law might be joining us as well. Uh, that's not for sure yet, but uh, she's actually already in the country, and I believe she's going to join us, but I guess we'll figure that out later. But uh, I'm going to go back inside now, see if I can get the kids up, and we're going to get ready and go check out that volcano. One other thing that's really cool about coming to countries like this is you don't have to iron your clothes. I just got these clothes on not long ago and they were all folded up and watered up and wrinkly from being in the suitcase and traveling. And I've just been wearing them out here and the wrinkles are already gone. That's what humidity will do for you. Callie, you ready to go? You ready to go? Getting everybody wrangled up and ready to go is quite the challenge, but I think we're about ready. They're back there now taking some pictures. Getting three kids to stand still to take pictures and smile is kind of a challenge.
place is definitely interesting. Motorcycles up and around everywhere. <laughs> Razor wire everywhere. It's pretty cool. But uh, we're here to pick up my mother-in-law now, and then we're gonna go check out the volcano. This is kind of a nicer neighborhood that we're in now, and there's still razor wire and barbed wire and iron fences and that sort of stuff. I just can't imagine nice neighborhoods having that back where I'm from. But that's just the way it is here because you got to protect your stuff. And in the city, here in the main part of the country, theft is rampant. And so you, do, you don't even leave stuff in your car. If you leave something in your car, you lose a window. You will lose a window. So <laughs> you got to put everything in the trunk or take it with you. Last night, we kind of took a wrong turn and I didn't have a camera with me or else I would have recorded it. But we kind of got into a rough area and it was radically different than this. It looked pretty, pretty rough. Get all the cool cars here. Tons of interesting vehicles that we don't get in the States. Like that little silver car up there in front of this white one is a Sang Wong. I've never even heard of that type of car. These things are delicious. This is a Rambutan. Once you peel the shell off, this is what's on the inside. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> This is a Hilcote. I'm probably saying it wrong, but close enough. There's places like this everywhere you go. They sell fresh fruit, plantains. I have no clue what some of the stuff is. Pineapples. Stopped at a grocery store to get some snacks. We stopped at a local grocery store and got some snacks, drinks, some, got some guayaba. Got some whatever this is. Yogurt drink. Got this tea. Got a whole bunch of stuff from the bakery. That's all coffee growing up here in the mountains. Coffee and coffee as far as the eye can see. We're right up below the cloud line now. They grow a lot of coffee in this area. They grow a lot of plants like flowers and stuff for, for nurseries to send it to around the world. And the coffee trees are made out of big coffee. Tons and tons of flowers grew up here. Ooh, it's great. Beautiful. <laughs> this is where they grow fresh strawberries at. It's inside these buildings right here. Or greenhouses. Bunches of them. Gracias. Flowers are huge. It's real pretty up here. And we finally made it to the volcano. We're headed up now. We've only got 20 minutes at the lookout, so we've got to hurry and get up there uh, because of uh, the C word restrictions. Can't say it on here. YouTube will uh, block the video. <laughs> you guys ready for the volcano? They're excited for the volcano. We're hoping you guys are seeing like all the coffee stuff. Yeah. I want to stop at the side of the Yeah, you can stop at that. These people. <laughs> Corral on this many people to get together to do one thing one thing. Sometimes it's a challenge. In the back. Yeah, I cannot believe him. Look, we will be real. It's not here too. Oh, it's open. He's open. Take it's a picture. Look at the volcano. Oh, it's it open. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. We timed it just right because the clouds are rolling back in now. It's cooling down a lot too. We timed it just perfect to be able to see it. What do you think of the volcano? You like the volcano? You like it? Yeah, I like it. Cool. 
Eddie, Eddie, you're on camera. Eddie, you're on camera. Now the clouds have gotten really thick. You can't see anything at all. So uh, I think we're about done here. At least we got to see it for the few, first few minutes we were here. So there's all these yellow circles on the ground. Yeah. There's a bunch of them all around. And I guess what those are is sometimes a volcano erupts and that's where rock lands and that's why we all have to wear helmets. Adelaide, do you know what that hole is? What? That's where rocks fell from the volcano. What? A rock from the volcano fell there. Okay. And now we've got to go back down the hill. I'm definitely glad we got here when we did because if we would have got here even just a few minutes later, there's some other people here from Mexico and they just got there maybe, maybe three minutes after we did and it was already covered by clouds. So <laughs> we could not have timed it any better. We didn't get to see it from way up high but uh, at least we did get to see it. What did you think of the volcano? What? What did you think of that volcano? Was that neat? Uh, Is that cool? No. No? <laughs> well, the lava coming out. Oh. Okay, you wanted to see the lava coming out? Pretty sure Addie wanted to see the lava coming out too. She seems disappointed that there was no lava. There's a hummingbird. Is this not? Look at that bird. Hummingbird. Daddy. Oh. That's not Huh. The way I take it, they used to have a lot of other stuff up here and you could stay longer. They had picnic tables, the whole nine yards. But the volcano has been uh, kind of active lately over the last few years. So they shut a lot of that stuff down. And then on top of that, there's the seaward and that put in a lot of restrictions. There's still a lot of restrictions down here. Not as many as there was, but they're still somewhat locked out. So because of all those things, they had to get rid of all the picnic tables. You could only spend 20 minutes up there so on and so forth. Look at that view back there behind me. Oh, behind you. Oh. Vamanos. You're going to get left behind. You better hurry. Bennett keeps stopping and putting rocks inside his helmet and then putting it back on his head. <laughs> I wish we could buy something like that in the States. I'd convert it over to a camper or something like that. That'd be so cool. Check out this view. We're headed back down the mountain now. We're going to try to find one of those coffee places. I think it's actually a Starbucks. We're going to try to find that, stop in there, and see what that's all about. <laughs> Callie's making cow noises. The Jeep. Babe, she wants a picture. You want a picture with the Jeep? These things are so rare in the United States. They're so hard to find. And they're just all over the place up here. And these two, you never see Land Cruisers ever hardly and they're just super common here we are at starbucks coffee farm no we're coming back bennett look this way bennett say cheese late say cheese look at the waterfall So normally they do a tour, but I guess the last tour was at 3.30, and it's right after 3.30 that we got here. Check out this old Land Cruiser truck. If only it wasn't so expensive to import those.
All right, our other friends got here. We got them settled into the house. Got all that taken care of. It's pretty late. Actually, it's not that late. It just gets dark really, really early here. But it, it is starting to get somewhat late and I am absolutely exhausted. So I think I wanna go to bed. Tomorrow we've got a few things planned and we've got a few things planned over the rest of the, the next week or so. So uh, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna record. I probably do like two days into one video, kind of like this one here where I put yesterday and today together. I feel like that would be a good way of doing it. I know these are different than my normal videos. There's no, well, there, I guess there are a few cars involved in these, but not that many cars, but it's just something different to do. So you guys can see my family. I know a lot of you want to see my family more. So this way you can actually get to meet them. But with that, I'll let y'all go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment in the comments. Say what your favorite part of this video was. I will see you guys in the morning with the next video. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. And if you ever have the opportunity, take an adventure to Costa Rica. We'll see you next time.